Hi everybody, it's me, Monique, again. Um, so I'm here to talk to you guys about potential artists that you might have for your virtual art gallery. So exciting. This is your semester long project and um, it's time to start. And so basically what you're going to be doing is you are going to be uh, making an art gallery in Second Life that is representative of an artist's work. Um, we have chosen so many artists for you guys this semester and you guys will have the um, the opportunity to uh, meet them. Meet them in person or maybe Skype with them and you get to talk to them about their artwork and everything that is, you know, like interesting to them. These are these, these people, they have they have changed the world, I guess you could say, in some sense. I mean, maybe it's not as big as, like, I don't know, Mother Teresa or something, you know, but they they have, you know, used art as their, their personal way of telling a story of changing the world, and I find that so fascinating. And so you guys are going to get the opportunity to meet them and to be inspired and um, to create an art gallery about them. So each TA picked um, four to five artists and I chose four. Um, I chose four artists that I feel best incorporate my interests and inspire me the most and um, those artists are Ted Meyer, Andre Mirapolsky, Maura Meyer, and Christine Schumacher. Um, Okay, so I guess I'll just do like a very brief introduction of each artist. Um, I've gotten the opportunity to talk with all of them and to get to know them a little better. So I will be helping you guys with this project if you decide to choose one of those four artists. Um, okay, so my first artist, Ted Meyer. Um, he's very interesting with what he does with his artwork. Um, I was very inspired when I saw his um, his sort of paintings. Um, one of the ones that his one of the um, what, what's it called um, galleries, I guess you could say, that interests me the most about him is he takes people who have some sort of um, health issue. Um, I don't know, maybe an amputated arm, or maybe um, Oh, what's another good one? There is a person who has like some sort of maybe disease on the inside and he takes it and he uses paint to trace over that mark. So the person with the amputated arm, like he takes paint and he puts it on that art and then he sort of like um, uses it as a stencil and he puts it on a piece of paper on a giant canvas and he sort of cr like, it's, it looks weird. You would never, if you were to look at it, you would never like be able to tell that it's um you know an amputated arm or anything like that but he does this and it is so interesting um I'm looking at the gallery right now it's called New Scars and um yeah he just like he does the craziest things and you know they end up looking like such a beautiful like end result um one woman, oh, here we go, uh, she has ovarian cancer um, due to a genetic mutation. And so um, what he does is she had to get a, um, a double mastectomy as well as an oophrectomy. Um, and so he took her breast and he covered it in paint and then he just took a piece of paper and he traced over that, you know, and he created this beautiful design. Um, it's very hard for me to explain um, in person, but yeah, that's sort of what he does, and so I think that's very interesting. It's sort of a new take on like finger painting, I guess you could say, you know. But it has this like very, very big sort of like political message. I think you could say if you would think that health is like you know like something that should be political, you know. And so, yeah, I like that. Um, next is Andre Mirapolsky. Oh. My goodness, I had such a great time talking to him on the phone. Um, he is a very um, abstract, like, sort of colorful, crazy artist. Um, and I love that about him. He's so bright and colorful and, like, 
I know I just like repeated myself, but it's really true. He's just, he's so out there kind of, you know, and, um, he actually is going to be designing um, the mural for the Los Angeles Convention Center. And it's going to be made out of stained glass, and it's called I Love LA. And I saw a video on it. If you go on his webpage, you can see the video on it. It's beautiful. It's so colorful and bright and vibrant. And, um, yeah, I just... I think if you're very interested in like color schemes and everything like that, sort of like I am, it'll be a very good artist to choose. Um, next artist is Maura Meyer. She is based in Ohio, so whoever gets her will not actually get to meet her. They will be Skyping her. Um, she is, I guess what you would call n normal. Um, she is an elementary school teacher. She's an art teacher in Ohio. Um, now her artwork, her her latest um, gallery or installation um, is um, is very interesting. Her her father is um, a cargo worker, and he um, shipped like growing up when while she was growing up, he shipped things back and forth, and she never really got to know her father or really know like what his job really entails and so she sort of was inspired to find out about his his life you know and to sort of appreciate his job more so what she did was she had her father um, take a picture a day of things that happen you know while he's gone he would be gone from like four to six months and so what well, he was going on a 30-day trip so she asked him to take pictures of that and so um, he took pictures of the 30 days, and what she did was is she cre recreated them um, by drawing them, in, the, in an essence. She created them by drawing. Um, now, her drawings are very interesting because they're not, um, what, what's the word, like, like exact, detailed. They're not really like that. They're more kind of like comic strips. And then, well, not really comic strips, but they, but they just, it's like marker and pen on paper, you know, but it captures the message of what she's trying to get. And so it's really cool to see, like, how she decided to relate to her father, you know, um, like, like, sort of establish this relationship through her artwork. And I find that very fascinating, you know, because I think, like, our relationship with our parents is, um, you know, very like you never really know what's going on in your parents mind I guess you could say you know it's not it's not always like that it's not that easy and so she took a step up and she did this and you know her and her father are like um like close now but you know she's gone and the ability to appreciate what her father does and you know when she was growing up she never really saw that and so through her through her artwork she was able to do that next artist um I'm biased. She is my favorite artist, like, ever. I think the first semester, I just fell in love with her. Um, she is both an L.A. artist and a Second Life artist. Uh, her name is Christine Schumacher, and her Second Life name is Gracie Kendall. Now, this, oh my gosh, I can't even, like, begin to explain why, like, I love her so much. <laughs> she is an artist that focuses mainly on identity issues and women and their bodies and um, sort of like this whole like yeah she's based it on second life there's nothing there's nothing really that's um, in real life that she's done you know but all of her work is done on second life and she um, basically is like fighting for the right to for women to see that you know what they're their bodies are beautiful, you know, no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter what you look like or anything like that. And I find that so fascinating how she was able to incorporate that in Second Life. She did um, a gallery or an installation called A Thousand Avatars. And what she did was is she had all of these naked avatars, basically, all different shapes and sizes, all different races, and she just had them stand there. And in an and in essence, it was supposed to make you realize that, you know what, everybody is different, you know. And she captured that in Second Life, you know. 
Um, what's even more fascinating is that in real life, you know, she's a little bigger. Um, but in Second Life, she's she has a thin avatar, you know, and she's sort of like breaking the mold in a sense, you know, it's sort of like, oh, you can, you know, you can really be whoever you are, you know, no matter what you look on, look like on the outside, you can be whoever you want on the inside. And I know that sounds so cliche and like stupid, I guess you could say, but in truth, she's, she's fighting for the identity that's in here. And I think that's so beautiful and very important. Um, which is why she's one of my favorite artists because she really like digs down deep to the core. So if you're interested in that kind of art, you know, if you're interested in identity and like things like that, she's such a sweet, sweet, sweet person to talk to, and she um, is very inspirational. Yeah, she's inspired me so much, and um, I am so glad that I have the opportunity to work with her. So let's go through them again. Okay, we have Ted Meyer working with scars and um, sort of political messaging through health. We have Andre Mirapolsky. He's very colorful, very vibrant, very va va voom out there. If you're interested in that, he's your art. He's your guy. We have Maura Meyer. If you're interested in like father daughter relationships, I guess you could say, or more um, very simplistic art, you know, but is able to cap have like a big message, then I think she's for you. At least that's what I got from it. If you're interested in identity and um, like the barrier breaking the barriers between uh, outside and inside, Christine Schumacher is your artist. Um, and I will be the head of all of these artists. And I am so happy to have you guys to work with me this semester. Um, I would love to get to know every one of you. And I just can't wait to see what you have in store. Um, I expect great work nonetheless. These are very fabulous artists. They have dedicated their lives to, you know, having like some sort of like like footprint in the world and I think that these art galleries are a great way to support them and to represent them well so make me proud and make them proud and let's get work let's get working let's get cooking whatever that expression is okay bye guys I'm so glad that I was able to um, you know to talk to you about them it's been an honor, and it's going to be a pleasure working with you. Bye.